इज इट नॉर्मल फॉर अ नॉन लैक्टेटिंग नॉन प्रेगनेंट वुमेन टू सिक्रीट मिल्क मिल्क सिक्रीशन कैन टेक प्लेस ड्यूरिंग स्लीप और ड्यूरिंग स्ट्रेस और ड्यूरिंग स्टिमुलेशन सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे Hello everyone this is Dr Jill today we are going to talk about a query Mrs Kavita a sociologist from West Bengal whose BMI is 29 that will come under obesity and there is a history of PCOD she is having complaints of secreting milk from the breast while she wears her bra or when she is intimate with her partner but she is neither pregnant and nor breastfeeding stay with me till the end to know everything about galactoria and if you also have this problem you may come to know why this is happening to you and whether you should do something about it or not there are two hormones which are mainly responsible for secretion of milk from breast one is oxytocin and one is prolactin oxytocin is milk let down hormone that is for secretion of milk and prolactin is for production of milk so production of milk in breast takes place under the influence of the hormone prolactin when the mother gets a stimulus from the baby a suckling reflex and emotional attachment with the baby that the baby needs milk when the baby cries the uh, signal goes to the brain that a uh, milk secretion is needed to pacify the baby and to feed the baby during breastfeeding this happens this is a normal breast these alveoli will make the milk there are milk ducts then there are sinuses which will contain the milk till the milk is finally secreted from the nipple during the early part of pregnancy also due to uh, increase in estrogen progesterone due to increase in certain hormones some amount of milk secretion can take place prolactin is responsible for uh, the production of milk so a high level of prolactin may lead to a condition known as galactoria means secretion of milk other than pregnancy and lactation they include sleep during sleep prolactin increases and milk some milk secretion can take place during sleep but that is normal during stress sometimes prolactin may increase and milk secretion may take place and during physically being intimate with your partner or any stimulation of the breast milk secretion can take place okay so the most common cause of galactoria or milk secretion when we are not pregnant and non lactating it can be hyperprolactinemia that means that prolactin hormone is has increased in the body so what can happen if prolactin increases in the body it can reduce your uh, menstrual bleeding it can decrease the flow of blood so people who have high prolactin levels may have decreased bleeding during periods or maybe they won't get periods itself sometimes then there may be abnormal uterine bleeding so there may be more bleeding excess bleeding also and uh, milk secretion galactoria then hirsutism hirsutism is some women may develop excess body hair hyperprolactinemia can also lead to infertility or repeated abortions if this increased prolactin is due to a tumor in your brain then it can press on your optic nerve and which can cause visual disturbances or headache also so pathological causes means abnormal causes which need to do something about that those causes are there can be a tumor there can be a brain tumor small or big or can be a cancer anywhere in your body that can also lead to increased prolactin levels it may be a head injury a injury to the head because of any accident or it may be injury to the chest that can also lead to milk secretion so disease conditions like pcod or pcos up to 20% cases of pcod or pcos can have galactoria or milk milk secretion also in endometriosis also you can get milk secretion in liver or kidney diseases or in an infection which is known as herpes zoster infection also you can have higher prolactin levels or milk secretion uh, some drugs which are used commonly which can lead to uh, galactoria are metoclopramide cimetidine methyl dopa oral contraceptive pills and some of the antidepressants can also cause milk secretion if you have galactoria means so first check from the list i have given just now is that happening when you are sleeping is that happening when you have increased stress or is that related to when you are you know wearing your clothes or your bra or when you are being intimate with your partner if if such reasons are there it may be normal 
but if there are uh, some of the other reasons or you do not know what is the cause and if the secretion is not from both the sides if it's only from one of the breast then also it can be abnormal go to your doctor go to a good gynecologist and explain your symptoms to her they will take history they will examine you they will do investigations as necessary and will suggest you drugs or surgery if you have an abnormal cause milk secretion so thank you for being with me uh, keep sending me your queries send them by mail send them by whatsapp send them by instagram i'm waiting for your questions thank you kavita for sending us your query take care bye bye